Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu and I hobble Bitcoin and I say BAM a lot of times. That's why I wear a BAM t-shirt. I know some of you are like, oh, what is happening to Bitcoin? We just crashed. We're going to zero. Uh, watch this video i will explain what is happening and every and i will explain you why to say don't worry be happy because guys this is bitcoin welcome to bitcoin and check these next charts to see what is happening i will make a really short video like maximum eight minutes or something because i need to do a lot of work today and um, i'm being filmed by a camera crew for a documentary and all that stuff so i will keep it short but i will give you my opinion on what about what happened and about ellen musk <laughs> Let's jump into the charts. This one, Tom. All right. Well, I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, oh, no. I've been down so long that my mind. This Get is no the rest. first job we're going to look at, the four hour job. We were walking this beautiful path in the channel. And then something happened yesterday. I was walking into a presentation. I did the presentation here in Playa de Carmen. And bam, Bitcoin crashed with 10,000 US dollar. 56,000 to 46,000. That's a 10,000 US dollar drop. Of course, everybody is searching then for the reason. A lot of people believe it's the tweet of Elon Musk. I don't think that Ellen has that much influence on the Bitcoin price. I don't think that one tweet can drop the Bitcoin price um, with 10K. I do think there's something else going on, which I couldn't figure out yet. I haven't been able to figure it out. I've been searching which exchange did the dump. I've been searching where was the inflow into the exchange to do the dump. And I've been say, searching where are the buy orders. There was some people buying this huge dump so there were already buy orders at the level of 46k a lot of them that bought up that dump because we flew up with 5k directly after the dump so that means there were already buy orders the price dumped they were bought up and bitcoin is back at 50k so i'm looking into it i didn't have time enough since yesterday to do it but i will come back with uh, those data for you guys because i really want to know what happened and i really don't believe it is a tweet of a some guy that is talking about something he really doesn't understand because he is tweeting about dogecoin he's asking the people just up front of this tweet asking should we accept dogecoin do you want tesla to accept dogecoin and the day after he tweets we are not accepting bitcoin anymore because of the energy doesn't ellen know that doge is also proof of work is ellen really that stupid that he doesn't know that's the same blockchain it's same proof of work using energy and talking about energy guys bam here we have energy you can see ellen you should stop accepting fiat any form of currency traditional currency for your teslas because the banking system is using way more energy than bitcoin has ever done also gold mining is using way more energy than bitcoin has ever done please ellen take a look at this chart and stop accepting fiat currency now as well because that one is really destroying the world bitcoin is saving the world and bitcoin is working bam to decrease that amount and bitcoin is working to bam decrease that amount of energy that is being used we can't say that about gold mining gold recycling paper currency mounting and also the banking system they are all increasing guys ellen this is your last lesson in energy bitcoin mining will become more energy efficient than the traditional financial system has ever been ellen uh, bitcoin is going to beat the traditional financial system on every front also energy wise just think ellen how many bank buildings are there with computers and employees and air conditioning and heatings and server equipment that back up the computers and how many atms 24 7 how many trucks and fabrics to create paper money and coins and all that stuff the fiat system 
that one is energy inefficient, Ellen. Bitcoin is the solution to that one. And yes, it appears that Bitcoin is using as much as energy as some countries. Yeah, do compare it. Apples with apples and not apples with pears. Do compare how much energy is being used by the traditional fiat system, Ellen. And then we talk again. That was everything I need to say about Ellen and his energy tweet because I don't believe that is really happening. Something is going on, Ellen. Just tell us the truth. Bam! So I think there is something else going on. I don't know what, but maybe he tweeted because he knew the market was going to dump and maybe he wanted to help his billionaire friends um, to buy up uh, a dip in Bitcoin. So you never know how these billionaires might act or might help. So I don't think that the tweet of Elon Musk can have that much influence, guys. You know, Michael Saylor has more Bitcoins. Uh, Grayscale has more Bitcoins. So if these would dump their Bitcoins, we can see these uh, dumps. And if you out there in this community are selling your Bitcoins because of a tweet about Bitcoin by Elon Musk, who is tweeting about Dogecoin as well, which is also proof of work. If there are that weak hands in our market that they sell the Bitcoins because of that tweet, um, I'm happy they sold. They don't belong in the Bitcoin world. Thank you for selling the Bitcoins to all those people that are buying up the dip at the moment. Let's jump into the next chart because bam, how much coincidence can it be that the dip exactly is pulling back to the 100 day moving average? This is the day chart, guys. It's the 100 day moving average. And exactly at that level that we find support, we find support again. You can see the 100 day moving average at the moment is at 50, uh, 49,000, sorry, um, uh, US dollar. So we are finding support around that level. And if we look back in history, this is the BLX. So that has a lot of data in the charts. That 100 day moving average line has been a red thread through the life of Bitcoin. And we often touch it, we go up, we come back. Uh, it becomes a resistant over here on the left on the screen. I will show you with drawing. Here the red line is the resistance. We fall down. We go up, then we go up and we find support on the line. When we break down, the line becomes resistance. You see, we try to break it, it's resistance. When we break it, it becomes support, support. Then we break it again, becomes resistance, resistance. We go above it, support. We go above it, support. We stay above it, support. Over there, almost support. We go always into this line and then bam support up support so we are finding support in this area which is a beautiful area we are still around 50k i'm not even freaking out i'm zooming out i think we will always find support in this line at the moment like we did in history and then from that moment on guys um, we are going to go slowly up again and the line is going to go up and we will touch uh, maybe not that much sideways but we will touch that area of 100k somewhere in the near future guys um let's see i think i will keep it to that also guys on the weekly we are seeing the same don't freak out zoom out bam this one over here i shared this chart with you a couple of days ago i said we are in the weekly moving inside of this channel we are still in this channel you see this huge dump yes it was a dump but we are still closing inside the channel and this dump exactly was to this red line over there and this red line this one over there is the 21 weekly moving average and we have been talking about that one many more times because i told you guys in the logarithmic growth curve that is a very important line and in history i showed you that this 21 moving average has always been a support area and let's take the blx chart because that chart has a little bit more uh, history again that was the buy bit this red line this red line is the 21 week moving average you see all the yellow lines I drew them in the last couple of weeks during my videos. I told you guys here, all these yellow lines, I told you, yes, if we pull back, we will pull back to that red line. We will go up, we will come down, we will go up, 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 break it, and that becomes resistance. And then we saw this happening till now. We went up, but we didn't touch the red line. We went up, but here we touched the red line. Then we went up, we pulled back, we didn't touch the red line. And then now we touched that red line. And I've been talking to you guys about this red line for a very long time. And I told you it is still possible we will touch it, 
but I believe it will be coming up before we touch it. We were talking about it, oh, we'll touch it around 40k. No, I told you guys it will come up 42, 44, 45, 46. And now we are at that level of 46,000 US, US dollar at 46,000 US dollar and we touched it almost. So that was that huge dip that you have been waiting for to load up your Bitcoins because every time in history we get around this moment over there that we near or touch that 200 uh, 20 because every time in history when we come near that 21 day moving average because every time in history when we come near that 21 week moving average that red line it will go up again guys that is what we have seen complete history of bitcoin Sh just check how this beautifully is showed guys like every time we go up in this red line over there here you already see it here we go down this is the bear time then we go up we touch it we go up we touch it we go up we touch it etc etc this is what is happening now again yes we went up we touch it we go up that is in my opinion the 21 ma i've been talking about it many times so i repeat it again beautiful chart yes this is normal don't freak out zoom out bam on this chart you can see i was searching for where does this dump come from and yes there was a huge inflow um, from the exchanges uh, sorry from the miners to the exchanges so there was a lot of inflow into the exchanges uh, exactly at the time that the dump appeared so there is somewhere a huge inflow coming from miners i think into the exchanges that dumped the price but again i need to double check this before i know for sure that that was happening it's just a short update i know so what i'm going to say here is don't freak out always zoom out freak out about every minute of the day if you're not enjoying that day zoom out in bitcoin zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day don't freak about a tweet of, of elon musk let him do his thing man he's he's the biggest pumper out there at the moment man he's just copying john mcafee he went into jail let's see what will happen with elon musk thank you for watching this video if you did like this very short video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave me a comment what do you think about elon musk do you still love this beautiful billionaire that was shilling bitcoin and dogecoin or do you think now what an idiot why would the hell would he do this or do you think this was not the tweet that dumped the price it was something else it was the miners that were dumping the bitcoin or any other uh, huge investment company let me know down below the video and um, i want to thank you for watching the video again please give it the thumbs up and see you later today again with a family video and tomorrow a beautiful ta video that is a little bit more structured because tomorrow i will make a little bit more time for you <laughs> my apologies for today thanks for watching guys and see you later Bam! I've been running so long